Welcome back, fellow shop rats. Today on Talk About It Tuesday, I am going to espouse all of my knowledge and wisdom to you, and I am going to share with you exactly why I am such an expert. <laughs> if you believe that, you've got some swamp land to buy from me down in Arizona. Let's talk about this it. This is my car's shop. It's true. I am an expert at my cars. Look at my Dart GTS. Nobody knows that car better than I do. That doesn't mean I know everything there is to know about everything involved in the engineering and the building of every Dart GTS on the planet, but I'm pretty sure that I know my Dart GTS Pro Street car better than anybody else would. I can say the same thing about the Stitches Challenger and, well, a lot of the other cars that I have. And it's the same thing for you. You are the expert at your car. I'm also an expert at why I do what I do and how I do what I do and all of that stuff and so are you. I've been having a good chuckle since this past weekend because my buddy Chris and I went ahead and um, made the four-speed console top for stitches. And I had asked in one of the uh, Facebook groups that I'm involved in for eBodies. Uh, it's a great group with great guys, good information, and I needed to know just some basic dimensions on location uh, because it just makes my life easier than having to, you know, calculate and guess and figure when I could have those reference dimensions, throw that console top kind of in place, and double check and make sure that it was close to being right. And that saved me a ton of time. But of course, as with everything online, when you ask a question, you get two or three people that actually answer the question, and then you get a hundred answers for questions you never asked. And that's fine. It's what we sign up for. It's what we expect, and it's not that big of a deal. Um, but I do find some interesting uh, responses to things like that. And then when it was all done, I posted a picture um, and said, hey, thanks guys for the help. I really appreciate it. And everybody was cool for the most part, uh, except the one guy who piped up and said I made it wrong. My question to myself was, well, who the hell said I was trying to duplicate exactly what the factory did anyway? But I let it go. But apparently this individual chose not to and continued on and on and on. Well, you know, if you poke me enough, you're going to get a response out of me. And I tried to be gracious and kind and say that I made exactly what I wanted and the whole location was what mattered. And I didn't care if it had the little loops this way or that way. And this individual kept saying that the hole is supposed to be oval. And everyone I've ever seen is just simply rectangular with round corners, so I did say that and posted a picture of it. It's like, to me, this isn't oval, this is rectangular with round corners. And then I got the whatever response and a long list of how this individual has 40 years and they're an expert. And, you know, you're pretending you're like a proclaimed expert, and blah, blah, blah. Wow, that was great. Now at that point, if you saw my post in the community tab, I chose to let it go and thought, this guy's an asshat, and I'm not interested in having any more interaction with him. Um, he's not listening to what I'm saying anyway. And I did point out that, look, the whole point was thanking people who helped me. I never claimed to be making a factory-perfect console top. So it got me thinking about experts, which is where I started this. And are there people who are experts? Absolutely, there are people who are experts. They have many areas of expertise, but it, it got me to thinking about, well, what's my area of expertise? And I realized that the only area of expertise that I really have is doing what I do in my shop. I'm pretty good at what I do. That doesn't mean that other people would say that I'm good at what I do, and I don't care about that. But it brought me around to thinking about how every one of us can only be an expert at what we do, not what everybody else does. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't people like Gene Winfield or Matt over at Iron Trap Garage or Fitzy over at Fitzy's Fabrication. These, these guys are really experts in their field uh, across the board, but I think we all bring some level of expertise to what we personally do on our own stuff. And, that's okay. I mean, nobody knows what you know better than you. and That doesn't mean it applies to anybody else, but that's okay too. Let's face it. Most of the criticism that we are going to find in the way we choose to enjoy 
this hobby is going to come from people who disagree with what we're doing or even more so people who don't understand what we're doing or why we're doing it. I mean, all the flaming that I get comes from people who've got their heads buried so far up their sphincter that they have no clue what it is that I'm even setting out to accomplish because they have one set of lenses they're looking through. And that's fine. you got to expect that. If we're going to put ourselves out there and let other people see what we do, we're going to come under flame for it. That's just the reality of the world, especially in the day and age of keyboard warriors who hide behind a screen and who would never venture out in the world and say the things they do because they don't want to get, you know, like... I think when we can get beyond our own little tunnel vision and open ourselves up to it, trying at least to understand where other people are coming from and why they do what they do and what's the context of why they're doing what they're doing, um, we could actually learn something. And I, and I will say this, I'm preaching to the choir here because most everybody that views the channel here gets it a lot. And you know, I try to be very open and forthright and not hold things back and share things honestly because I believe that if we all did that we could learn from each other and become better at what we do and increase our own expertise about our own stuff. Now there are people who are experts on all challengers or all kudas or all darts or all dusters or all trucks or all wrenches. But the truth is, the only person ultimately that can be an expert on your car is you. You're the only person who really, truly knows what's going on. You know what's been done. You know why it's been done. You know how you did it. So don't let anybody talk down to you. Don't let anybody dismiss you because you know exactly why you did what you did. You know exactly how you did what you did. And that does make you an expert on your car. That'll do it for this one. We'll catch you on the next one.